Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back. We got our final Pantheon event before the new Airwave tier coming tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow or today. One of the two, but either way, we're gonna talk about this event. I'm gonna show you my Pantheon pulls. We're also gonna talk about the Lunar New Year, gonna let you know how we're doing with that. But as far as this event goes, it actually wasn't that bad. I mean, it was a flash event, which makes it a lot easier to be able to get through. Court Domination is probably my least favorite event out of all of them, but it still wasn't too bad to be able to get our very first event card of the year. We haven't been playing in nine months. We were way behind, seven tiers behind, a matter of fact, when we started back up in January, and it only took us a couple weeks to get into Pantheon, and we got enough cards in order to be able to get this done and get our very first event card in quite some time, that is for sure. We really don't need it as far as the new tier coming tomorrow. I'm pretty sure we're already gonna be in there, but uh, this is certainly gonna help. I'm not gonna have four momentums this time. I'm only gonna have three just because I spent so much time playing this event. But uh, y'all are gonna have to let me know in the comments. How did you do? Were you able to get this event card? How'd your polls go? How about your Lunar New Year? Have you been able to uh, get any, uh, you know, Pantheon pros with that? But either way, uh, here is that event card, Carl Malone. It's definitely uh, nice, you know, a nice historic card. I definitely like the historic event cards much better than the regular ones, but uh, yeah, we're gonna pro this up. Let's check out our Pantheon pulls before we get into proing up that Carl Malone. First, we got Liz at Cambridge. I did get three Pantheon pulls this weekend, which is nice. Uh, none of them are gonna be pros, but still nice to, you know, add them to the collection or whatever. But uh, one Pantheon pro, and this, of course, breaks our streak of WNBA. Like I said in the last couple of videos, man, we've been pulling a ton of WNBA. We got Norman Powell right there for our second one. And then for the third one, um, actually, this one was on the exclusive draft board. So we got one in court domination, one on the exclusive draft board, and then one in uh, one in Platinum Playbook. So those are our three pulls for the weekend. Now, for those of you that are kind of curious what the deck takes in order to get through Platinum Playbook, this is the one I used on the last two Pantheon cards, the regular base tier Pantheon and the event tier Pantheon. And this is honestly probably better than you actually needed. You don't need this many good cards. It's actually quite easier than it certainly used to be, at least as far as I remember it. But uh, this is the deck that we used and it worked fine. I mean, we didn't have any problems. They didn't, I don't think one single time throughout the entire event have any card that was probably better than uh, a Cyclone Pro. They, I don't remember any time they've, they had Pantheon Pros, but they weren't fully leveled up. They're about the same numbers as about a Cyclone Pro. Being that you're unable to pro the card until the event is completely over, of course, we got the matches done. So uh, all that is ready, uh, completely leveled up. We got the 100 matches each. Let's combine these cards, get our very first event card pro, see what the stats look like. Of course, y'all are gonna have to let me know in the comments, you know, how does it compare to other event cards, you know, as far as being better or worse than the other Pantheon pros for the event cards. All right, there's the stats, fully leveled up. It's nothing crazy. I mean, it's nothing, uh, you know, compared to the actual other Pantheons, you know, this one, Anthony Hardaway, Penny Hardaway or whatever. This does have a momentum on it, so of course, it is a little bit better than it normally is, but uh, the stats, you know, pretty decent. Either way though, happy to get our very first event card. Real quick, talking about the Lunar New Year on the calendar, we did get a free Pantheon Lunar New Year, and this is the one that I did receive, G Sue Park. Now, all that means is, is well, you only have to do one more Pantheon Fusion, right, in order to get the pro which means at least with these fusions, you need three of the Cyclones of that same player, of the same card, and one Ignition in order to get it. And while I haven't had very much luck, I'll tell you that, for as much WNBA that I've had uh, luck-wise, as far as the Cyclone fusions go, I've had pretty much zero. 
Uh, these are the three initial that I started with. So that's six total right there. And then all of these down here, I've also done. And as you see, I've done 15 total Cyclone Fusions. And I've only pulled one single park card. And so I, we do still have a day and it is still possible, but it's not looking very good. That is for sure. It's not looking good. I am almost certain. I think I'm going to just give up on it. Uh, not that we necessarily need it or anything. I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to get, you know, one Pantheon Pro from this. But either way, uh, if I don't pull another one in the next couple Cyclones, I think I'm just going to give up and forget about it. Uh, Cause I don't think I'm gonna get it. So updated top eight, like I said, we're certainly, I am pretty sure we are ready for airwave tier for it to drop. I can't wait. Uh, we do have the super dynasty ready to go. So as soon as airwave drops, hopefully I'm thinking that the super dynasty pack rewards are going to update, which means we should be able to get that shot of getting airwave pros in super dynasty. So we're gonna open those packs. We're gonna get our freebie. We got over 250 tickets, so we'll do at least 10 ticket packs. So exciting when the new tier drops. It's gonna be our first like initial pack opening for a new tier in almost a year. Like it's so long since we've done one of these. I'm excited for it. Either way, let me know in the comments how your weekend went and until the airwave drops, I will see y'all then. Y'all take it easy. We're out, peace.